Welcome to Bordeaux in the southwest of France, where the Ars et Métiers Paritech team is preparing its participation in the Solar Decathlon Europe 2010. We live in an extraordinary region where nature is omnipresent. The Lond Forest, Pila, the highest dune of Europe, the vineyards, all these beautiful sites remind us of the importance of protecting our natural environment and have led us to participate in the Solar Decathlon. Based on this approach, we named our house design Napevomo. In the Cheyenne language, Napevomo means, do you feel well? Which reflects our aim to design a self-powered house, providing a high comfort level through innovative technologies. Combining eco-friendly construction materials with energy efficiency around an optimized bioclimatic architecture, Napevomo not only demonstrates high performance design, but also brings well-being for sustainable living. Inspired by bioclimatic architectural principles and regional heritage, our team has designed a house which decreases its energy consumption, either by taking advantage from the heat of the sun in winter or by protecting itself from it in summer, representing the idea of making a house with a very low environmental footprint, Napevomo will touch on the ground, imitating natural shapes. Actually, Napevomo will be built from locally sourced timber and other natural materials with low embodied energy and no pollutant. Based on the timber frame, the envelope will allow to reach very high thermal resistance to minimize heat transfer, but also act as a thermal mass to ensure thermal comfort. Constructive solutions have been developed to ensure transportation and rapid assembly and disassembly of the house on site. In order to provide electricity and hot water, but also to heat and cool the interior ambience for an optimal thermal comfort. A high performance compact system will be used to combine all these functions in one. This active equipment will be assisted by a passive cooling system based on phase change materials. Engineering solutions are also envisaged to prevent energy waste. Following changes of light intensity, lighting sensors will automatically turn off the lights when natural daylight provides sufficient visual comfort. 